You're listening to a Roddenberry podcast. Today is Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021, and this is your daily Star Trek news from the Roddenberry Podcast Network. On today's show, Star Trek releases new Prodigy environmental art, perfect for Zoom or desktop backgrounds. Composer Jeff Russo conducts music from Star Trek Discovery and more for Deadline's inaugural sound and screen event. And I've got this week's Trek trivia. I'm Alison Pitt, and today's show is supported by people like you through Patreon. Find out more and add your support at patreon.com forward slash daily Star Trek news. Hot on the heels of the release of character images and descriptions, Paramount Plus has released four new images from Star Trek Prodigy, with stunning Delta Quadrant environments and planetscapes as shared on StarTrek.com. Now, they didn't give details as to what exactly the images represent, only that they are examples of what they call environmental coverage. Whatever the exact definition of environmental coverage might be, one thing it means is that these four static images will serve as fantastic backgrounds for your desktop computer or for any Zoom calls that you might be making. Now, the first image depicts two characters that look like Gwyn and Dahl observing a night sky with some colorful gaseous clouds and a bright moon above. Image number two gives us a view from space of a dramatic cloudy planet surface complete with two large moons and a rising star. The third image is of a desert planet with large otherworldly cliffs and a blazing sun. And the final image shows an aerial view of some kind of planetary structure, a space station or a city with towering spires and bright beams of light emanating in every direction. So while you're waiting for Star Trek Prodigy to premiere, let others know how much this newest addition to the Star Trek animated legacy raises the bar on visual design by using these images in your video conferencing calls. Even if you're one of those still working from home, you can at least pretend you're light years away, suiting up for another adventure with the holographic Captain Janeway. Last Friday, Star Trek Discovery and Picard composer Jeff Russo was among four composers featured at Deadline's inaugural sound and screen event. This new event is meant to highlight original music for the small screen in a live performance. Russo led a 55-piece orchestra, conducting pieces from Star Trek Discovery, Fargo, and the recently released HBO TV movie Oslo. Deadline sound and screen event was held at the historic Newman Scoring Stage, the same venue where the music for Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Picard, and Trek-inspired series The Orville is all recorded. Jeff Russo is an Emmy Award-winning composer and three-time nominee. For his work on Fargo, Russo was nominated in 2014, 2016, and 2017 in the category of Outstanding Music Composition for a Limited Series, Movie, or Special, winning the award in 2017. Now, it seems clear that his talent is in demand and Russo is staying busy. When he isn't composing music for Star Trek, Russo is usually working on another musical score, but he's found a way to avoid the dreaded writer's block. At the event, Russo told Deadline, If I get stuck on something, I will jump to another project. And then that usually kicks the dust or gets the cobwebs out. Featured alongside Jeff Russo are fellow composers Siddhartha Kosla from This Is Us, Ruth Barrett from Law & Order, Organized Crime, and Chris Bowers from Bridgerton. Deadline's sound and screen event was presented by Deadline, Global Music Rights, and Rhapsody PR. To see the full performance of Russo's music from the event, including an interview with the composer, visit Deadline.com. Now I've got Trek Trivia Tuesday here in just a moment, but first, a word from me. This show is supported by people like you through Patreon. Your financial support helps us cover recurring costs like hosting and distribution, and it also helps us invest in the future, finding better ways to bring you more of the Star Trek news you need to know wherever you are. To find out more, just head to patreon.com forward slash daily Star Trek news. You can contribute from just a dollar a month. And with a 16% discount on an annual membership, you can support us for a whole year for around $10. That's patreon.com forward slash daily Star Trek news. And a big thanks to you for supporting this show.
And now it's time for Trek Trivia Tuesday. And for those of you who have been following along, we've spent the last few weeks with several guest writers doing the trivia and history here on Daily Star Trek News. And we finally settled on a new member of the team. From now on, the trivia and history you hear will be coming courtesy of T. Rick Jones. Right. So, this week's trivia. Did you know? Zephram Cochran first appeared in the original series episode Metamorphosis. In that episode, Kirk, Spock, and McCoy were transporting Commissioner Nancy Hedford to the Enterprise in a shuttlecraft when a mysterious cloud diverts the shuttlecraft off course and causes it to land on a planet. That's where our intrepid explorers meet Cochran, the inventor of the warp drive, who had disappeared 150 years prior. He tells them that the companion, as he refers to the cloud, rejuvenated him and kept him alive for all that time. So now, a trivia question for you. In Metamorphosis, Commissioner Hedford had been pulled away from attempting to prevent a war on a nearby planet in order to go to the Enterprise. And boy, is she not happy about it. For what reason did she have to leave her post? And why isn't she thrilled about it? And you get uh, bonus points if you know the name of the planet that she had to leave. Uh, Those are purely theoretical bonus points, by the way. (laughs) Find out the answer to that trivia on Friday's episode of Daily Star Trek News. Well, that's it for today's Daily Star Trek News from the Roddenberry Podcast Network. Don't forget to check out the other great shows on the network at podcasts.roddenberry.com. Daily Star Trek News is produced by me, Allison Pitt, and written by Chris Peterson and Jack Brown, and trivia by T. Rick Jones. We're supported by people like you through Patreon. Find out how you can add your support at patreon.com forward slash daily Star Trek News. I'm back tomorrow with more of the Star Trek news you need to know, and this week in Trek history. I'm Allison Pitt. Live long and prosper. This is a Roddenberry podcast. For more great podcasts, visit podcast.roddenberry.com.